Rob Pickerman is at Holy Family Carlton today and he's helping with some students with their American sports skills. At the beginning we started with some fun filled activities like the card game. There was a fun social game where you picked up a card, whichever number was on the card, you said fun facts about yourself. It was great. We also did other various fun activities. That's all we have time for today. Over to Emma and Olivia. Hi, we're here with the Sky Sports Living for Sports scheme and we're here with Rob Vickerman who is coming to our school, Carlton Holy Family, today to do some work with some of the Year 7s and 8s and hopefully give them a taste of what rugby union would be like. So first of all, I want to ask you, like, how did you get into rugby in the first place? Uh, for me, I've always been brought up with rugby. Um, my dad played, my grandparents played, my mum played and actually my sister played for a little bit. So it's, it's uh -huh. a little bit inherited from my family, but uh, it's something that I really enjoyed. I saw at a young age how great it can be in terms of camaraderie and, and getting, having fun with, with mates who turn out to be lifelong friends. They must be really proud of that. Yeah, pride's a big motivator for me. When I look at you know my achievements within rugby, it really does you know get your heartstrings going when you think that parents and grandparents and now children can watch you sing a national anthem in front of a, in a big audience of people, and that's it's a pretty special thing. It's a big driver. Yeah. It must be an amazing feeling to have everyone looking at you while you're playing. Do you ever feel the pressure of kind of going out and going in front of a big crowd? Yeah, there's always pressure. I mean, pressure is one of the drivers. People have a bit of a fear of failure occasionally which the pressure can translate into and I think once you kind of get to grips with the fact that you've been there before a little bit with it and you know there's often two choices you can make, you can either stand up to the pressure or you can completely rescind and hide away from the pressure and the best people always tend to step up and, and seek the pressure to really perform under it. Mm -hmm. So how are things like social media and stuff like that involved in your sport life, like through different people like asking questions and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, I've seen it firsthand now, the change that's happened in the last, say, six or seven years, especially yeah. with the revelations of Twitter and Facebook. When I started off playing, believe it or not, there wasn't such a thing, um, <laughs> which is pretty frightening to think that now everyone is accessible. So you mentioned about social media. You've got to be careful about what you're saying, where you're going, when you're doing it, yeah. and, uh, you know, in your general manner, which isn't necessarily a problem for someone, to just myself, as, a, as someone a little bit probably more boring than most. <laughs> um, but when you look at the guys who are flying high in the world of football, you know, they've got to be very careful about what they do. Yeah. And again, that interaction with the fans has completely changed, which is yeah. fantastic for the fans, but also slightly daunting at times for the players. Mm -hmm. So, during school at the minute, we've got a bit of a thing for Sky Sports going, where we're trying to get people to show their hidden talents and oh. kind of come out and uh, show us some weird and wonderful things that they can do. Do you have any hidden talents? This is the point where I'd love to be able to like throw a break downstairs. Like that. <laughs> Go on. Unfortunately, unfortunately <laughs> you try. I, uh, I could try, but I'll probably get in trouble as I'm as I'm. Uh, I've got a bit of injured toe at the moment. So. Oh no! Don't um, injure anymore. <laughs> no, this is. I've, I've been known to be a little bit of a beatboxer. I can throw that down a little bit. Go on, like, try it for us. Well, I need a microphone usually, but I was trying to just freestyle. I'll pretend to help. Go on, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. might spit on your hand. That's oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> You just have to wipe your hand there. <laughs> <laughs> that impresses no one by my little baby daughter, so I'm thanks for that. You've humoured me there. Aww. Well, we always like to see hidden talents. Do you have any hidden talents to do with sport? Like, can you do any cool rugby tricks that you've learnt over the years? Again, yeah, I really am quite boring with this one. I've got a little <laughs> bit of skill with the old offloads and things like that, but I've got one little thing that I do carry around a little bit, and it's known as a, a pass-back ball. So it's, a, it's basically a way of playing rugby on your own, which yeah, is great okay. if you have no friends like me. So rather than just kicking a football against the wall, this thing's been invented where you can have pass a rugby ball against the wall. And oh, sadly yeah. enough, I like to create my own records on that rather than talk to friends and family. <laughs> That's before. not sad. That's personal uh, records. We'll give a little bit of a go with you. If you can see a little go later on, we can yeah, have a look at it. I think we could have a go at that. <laughs> Well, thank you for being here with us today. It's been amazing. I'm yeah. quite a rugby fan. I like <laughs> sports. <laughs> so it's been really good to speak to you today. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.